Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We are here again, trying to reach where we and we're going for our last two. Our last two alternate characters. I know you guys have probably been waiting quite a long time to see me play as the alt characters, and I do realize that I left it a little bit longer than most YouTubers probably did, but I really wanted to get some unlocks on the base characters first, beat the beast with a lot of them. And we're going to jump in. Of course, Azazel, we should have a pretty easy time, because obviously he has a lot of damage, but the one thing I am worried about, is not really unlocking the alt character, but beating the beast, he does have a um, very limited range. Now, I don't know how, what the fuck's... Okay. <laughs> this is a bit bizarre. Uh, also, almond milk twice in a row. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this, this, The damage on this thing is not very good at all. Um, which is kind of obvious, but... Honestly, we can't not stick with this beautiful, beautiful amazingness. I didn't actually know how almond milk would uh, interact with brimstone. And it, it seems to just make a, a big old, big old milky laser. Big old milky laser that's just constant, which is pretty cool. I definitely think if we can get more damage somehow and um, get a few damage items in here, this could be very, very good. Uh, especially if we can get even more range too. Like, range seems like it'd work so well with this. And honestly, I say the damage isn't great. It's pretty good, actually. It's just not as strong burst damage as it was. Like, it's actually killing stuff relatively fast. Um, if you were if you were go to go and compare it to like Isaac's base tier it uh, with almond milk, it's probably still faster. Um, it just the range really worries me. Like killing things like Dingle here seems like it's going to be kind of a chore. Oh fuck! I I really messed up there. I was like, let's sit over the poops, and I realized my brimstone's forever, so I can't just sit over poops. That doesn't really work. Oh dude, this guy is. He's predicting my movement so perfectly. I've never had a dingle fight that was so difficult. There you go, we got him. And there's that damage I was just talking about. Honestly, I think we have the power to go alt floor here, so let's do it. We've got the keys. Everything we require to do so is coming to pass. And honestly, getting that item choice... We got XL. Um, getting that item choice could be very, very good for us. Um, I, I'm, I'm very much into the extra item choice. Honestly, getting XL here is pretty good. Yeah, honestly, this single damage up feels so good. Also, angled brimstone. Ooh, a dime as well. Uh, I might, I might very well, very much go to the, uh, shop and see about buying a soul heart. Especially now that we've just got an additional key. I'm definitely more inclined to do so. Because the thing is, if we want to get a deal with the devil here, we're going to have to have the HP to support that. Do you know what? Would very much like Buddy in a box. That would that would augment our damage in a way that I very much would like. Because it would give us a secondary alternate way of firing and hitting enemies that may be further away. Not always going to be the best method, but I do think that'll work reasonably well. You f oh, this enemy. This enemy needs to go. Right. This is a strange, strange start to a run. It's kind of funky that we got almond milk twice in a row as well. But let's see. These these little fly dudes ain't too bad. Just got to be careful when they do their pulsing. These guys, however, I definitely think we're going to get hit by one of these. Like, it's going to be so hard for us to get in there. Oh, my God. This is so stressful. Yep, I got hit. I kind of knew that that was going to happen. We have to take the all stats up. It's a, it's a pretty good item in general anyways, but we need the HP. Um, and then we'll take random. Box of Spiders is fantastic. Uh, Box of Spiders got a pretty huge buff uh, in the fact that it literally, they literally doubled the amount of spiders it produces, which in my opinion actually makes it probably better than Guppy's head now. Um, but anyways, let's go fight our boss and maybe trade some HP away. Depending on how much HP we lose in the fights, I'm I'm definitely expecting this to be pretty bad in terms of amount of uh, amount of hits we take, just because we're so close up. But we are doing great damage, so that is one thing to note. And we did get additional HP. Which is very important. Ooh, this could be hard. It's uh, the Dross version of when we already got hit by him once. I mean, we're doing fine damage to him. That's good. But it's just his diving attacks are really hard for us to dodge when we have to stand so close to him. What the fuck? He wasn't even fully in the uh, water yet and still managed to pop his tail out. Which is a little bit of heckin' bullshit in my opinion. Okay, we got him. I think we should take this. It did lower our fire rate, but I don't think that matters because it increased our damage. Um, honestly, uh, it increased our health as well. That's that's good. 
Uh, not having to make a choice here is the best gift we could have ever received. Tears up. There you go. There you go. It all worked out just fine. Um, do we want to continue on the alt path? We definitely need to leave a trinket behind at some point. Let's just go normal path. Let's go back down to there. We got hit a lot here. We managed to make up a lot of our HP, but yeah. Really hoping for some, like, proper good range upgrades. I didn't actually see if we got any range upgrade then from experimental treatment. I think we did by the looks of things. It looks like we are uh, shooting a little bit further, but it's not a lot. But this is bizarre, and I love it. This with full brimstone. Uh, almond milk with actual brimstone seems like it could be really, really strong. Okay, this is not a room that I want to be in because these guys are uh, bomb flies that we can only just hit at the right range. Same with these dudes as well, actually. These dudes are a pain in the ass. Oh, my God. We're going strong, though. We're going strong. There's a lot of enemies that really aren't a problem for us at all. Uh, but there's, there's, just a, there's, just, there's just a few that are uh, quite annoying. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, we're clearing rooms relatively quickly. We just need... Uh, some range. I know that we didn't end up getting Buddy in a box, which is a bit of a shame, but I wasn't willing to stick around on that floor for too much longer. Uh, oh, stupid fucker. Right. It's mystery item, but we'll take it. Bloodshot Eye, of course, not very valuable to us at all. Not really going to make any difference to our run, I don't think, but hey her. It is what it is. We're kind of stomping through the rooms, though, at this point. Rosary, yeah, it's a... Uh, Increased angel chance and honestly, I feel like some angel items here could uh, could augment us very nicely and Honestly, I really don't feel like trading away HP Pandora's box I'm just gonna use because it gives us an item Um, that was really good. Honestly, it gave us range. It gave us HP it, it that did pretty much everything we needed it to it's fantastic. Okay keeper This guy's gonna hit me a few times. Yerp Yerp I knew it. Oh, we got steam sail though. That's nice. Ah, oh, I can't believe we got hit a few times there. Right, really need to find a trinket um, that we want to give up. We, we do have the rosary bead, but I'd very much like to keep that. Um, so that is kind of not a contender for dropping unless we absolutely have to. We can always drop it on debts too, I suppose, because we won't need it after that. Yeah, I suppose that's a good point. I love the fact that you can like do full 360 rotations with a brimstone now. With this thing, it's really good. Uh, rest of this floor isn't super necessary. There wasn't anything in the shop that we wanted to buy either. What? I just got hit upon entering the room there. That feels a little bit mean. Thank you for destroying both those maggots. Oh my god. Angel chance. We, we still got to deal with the devil, unfortunately. Divorce papers is fantastic. That's a huge tears up. Um which should up our damage by quite a bit. And here's a trinket that we're just going to leave in the boss room. Ugh. I hate this, but I have to. Okay, that worked out just phenomenally. Okay, that th this all worked out so insanely well for us, but we did just do pretty a pretty bad thing in getting rid of all our red hearts there. But yeah, we just traded Bloodshot Eye for something a lot better. Which is realized, but yeah, we don't have to leave a trinket now because we've already left the mysterious paper in that room. Um, ooh, I just found our Fool card, so, but we've already started with a Fool card, because we are, of course, Azazel. We always start with a Fool card. That's very nice. Perthro, however, I would like to take that first. I'm very, very worried currently about our range for the beast, and, and Dogma, to be honest. Like, we just don't have the defensive power to get up in their face. Um, ooh, definitely want to do this. I have to. It's too strong not to. It's a very big risk. It's a very big risk. And honestly, yes, I'll take that. That's gonna that's gonna help us a lot. Soul Heart. Essentially my my whole my whole plan there was we'll get we'll get health from this chest, so we don't have to worry. You not hit me. I will kill someone if you hit me. Okay, we've got some hands coming down here. I think this is gonna be burn hands. Yes it is. But yeah, Succubus uh, augments our damage, like, in a massive way. I just, I am a little bit, really, I'm a little bit afraid about giving up my, um, my only red health. Spoicy. This is spoicy. So, Glass Cannon is very interesting. I think we'll take Glass Cannon and re-roll that. I don't even know how this is going to work. 
It's a range down. Okay, this is great. This is great. It gives us some actual uh, some actual tears. It is a range down, though, which is a shame. We now have glass cannon, which obviously was reworked. Um, now you can fire it whenever. What in the fuck? It gets affected by almond milk. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. It gets affected by almond milk. That's kind of funny. But yeah, if we get hit, we essentially lose glass cannon for four rooms. It's not... It's not that big of a deal. Honestly, it being affected by almond milk is so fucking stupid, but I love it. Um, shop. Ah! Just not good stuff. Just not good stuff. At all. Alright, so we open this chest. Bunch of Penskis. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is a this is a weird one. This is this has become very odd. I'm very much hoping for a tinted rock that I actually managed to see. I'm sure there's plenty that I've missed. Um but this is, with Cricket's body, this has become a little bit better. We now have some extra damage that's going to augment it. I just, I was a little upset about the uh, the range down, though. That is a bit sad. <laughs> Glass cannon's so fucking stupid here. But it's really good, though. Like, the damage what we're getting from it is pretty nice. We just can't, we can't rely on it always hitting. There you go, it's gone. Wait, how much damage we just take from Glass Cannon there? Holy fuck, I didn't realize that was a thing. We just took like two full hearts of damage. Maybe this was a terrible idea. Maybe I'm gonna die. Maybe everything that I've done up to now has been a huge mistake. I'm gonna bank on that being the case, because uh, I think Glass Cannon just kind of screwed me there. I think, I think I got hit and got hit for like way more damage than I should have been. I wasn't aware of uh, of of this way of it working. Oh my god, what in the fuck is going on? Give me soul hearts. Just teleport me to the deal with the devil I've already been to, thanks. We desperately need health. Dude, okay, glass cannon is so fucking bad with uh with almond milk. Cause it just the tier just does not do what we want it to at all. <laughs> Oh god, this is a scary run now. This is this has become very very risky. I have uh, I have very much uh, balked it. I think. Don't my reflection back to me, you stupid. Yeah, I never realised that the glass cannon shot was affected by your uh, tear effects. I kind of thought it was separate. Big old chubber. No black hearts, please. I need health so bad. And the shop was so worthless too. Ugh. Ugh. Right, we need to go back and get our fool card. Don't forget that. But yeah, I am uh, I am not I am not so hopeful about the position that our run currently stands in. Do you know what I have to blow up these blue fires? I realize it's a low, low chance, but that low, low chance could save our life. Ugh, this is kinda gross. Oh, we did get a rune, which you watch will be. Oh, it's an Algis. Okay. I can get behind an Algis rune. I mean, not that I can take it, really, but actually what I can do, what I can do is drop it in this room um, and then just pick it up after the fight. And let's grab our full card and let's go. So I, I think if we get hit while holding glass cannon, we die. Because I think we, I think we take double damage if we get hit while holding glass cannon. If 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 what I'm seeing last time holds true, so I think I don't know if you can actually die though. I think it might just drop us down to half a heart. I'm not a hundred percent sure. We shall find out. I'm sure. Whoa, this this is new. Okay, we got them pretty easily. We did not get HP. Really? Dude. God damn it. Glass cannon, why? Just do what I need you to do. You shit. I don't even know where that glass cannon shot went. It just disappeared into the ether. Oh my god, this is stressful. Almost hit me. We did get a soul heart. We're going to grab, doesn't matter, so let's just grab this one. Deal the devil we've already seen. The, this could save us. We do have a new item here, which I've never seen before. So let's let's go and take a little look. It does look like a heart, which makes me incredibly hopeful that it could heal us. 
That's not Platinum God. Uh, Platinum God. What the hell is that? So this is Empty Heart. Adds an Empty Heart container at the start of every floor. Okay, that seems very, very good. Let's grab that. Now, if this works on the way home, this is going to be very, very powerful. Essentially, all we have to do is survive and we just keep getting empty heart containers. Fucking shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yep, I knew it. We're on half a heart. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I really need to put glass cannon down. I really need to put glass cannon down. Temperance. Gave us a rotten heart, which I shouldn't have taken because now I take double damage on that thing. Oh. I have made so many mistakes. I regret everything. Money, that's nice. Um, Daddy Long Legs is pretty good. Why did I let these guys out? I'm fairly sure now that because I have a rotten heart, I do think Glass Cannon can kill me now. Like, normally it can't, but I think it can now. <laughs> Justice? Oh, really? I wanted a soul heart. God damn it. Oh, Glass Cannon. You are the spiciest of spice, I have to say. We are getting the back out of here. God damn it. The good thing is, on the way back, we this is the this is the real kicker. Do we get do we get ourselves an extra heart container? We do. That's great. Right. As long as we can survive, we can get box of spiders back. Please don't say I missed that in the actual boss room as well. Oh no, why? This is so bad. <laughs> this run's so bogged. Oh wait, no, we re-rolled box of spiders, didn't we? Fuck! Oh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> but the fact that we are getting a bunch of hearts, XL floor definitely makes that a little less uh, useful. But it's nice that we are getting extra hearts. That was nice. Oh, my God. Lovely. Right, give me some red health. No, that doesn't help. Boom. Oh, it's great that it's doing so much damage. It's just unreliable as shit. This is a room that we get hit on. Holy fuck. These enemies can suck my balls. <laughs> God damn it. I went every witch wrong way. Soul of the Lost. I unlocked that for beating... Um, for beating... I can't remember. One of the bosses. I think it was Hush as uh, Alt Lost. It's, it's a new little thing that turns you into the Lost for a room. It's cool to show off, but honestly... It doesn't actually help us at all. It turns into the lost for one room. Mainly useful for stealing deal with the devils. Oh fuck, I forgot we have to lose our Algis rune. No. Please, please give us red health. We need it so bad. We have so many heart containers. Relax. Look at that. A fucking stupid, stupid glass cannon. Almond milk glass cannon, why? We're not going to have to fill any of these hearts, are we? Oh, wait, no. There's some health. Oh, we got another XL floor. This is, this is hearts we could be getting, game. Why are you so mean to me? Okay, nice. Oh my god! Glass cannon, why? It's not been a dick! Okay, we did get them. Oh my god, we are getting hearts now, though. This is progress, people. Also, this leech is thick. Fuck, jeez, <laughs> see this shit? Oh, how am I meant to hit anything with this bitch? 
My god. I'm really hoping that I get like Mum's box from the um, from Mum's box because then we'll uh, we'll actually get a space bar item. I never kind of thought of that. The fact that you can get Mum's box in Mum's box, it's kind of stupid. But hell, that 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 item has pretty much saved us in terms of HP. I will say that. And then I took a hit. Look how much health I just lost. Look how much health I just lost. I am so dumb. Why the fuck did I take glass cannon? I just wanted to show that it had been reworked. I thought it would be cool. Fuck. I thought it would be cool, all right? Oh, wait, we're in home already. Okay. God damn it. Shit. Oh, uh, at least, like I said, we get the alt character no matter what, but we are not living through this. Hey, Azazel. Ooh, he's got a broken broken horn. Right, give us give us a new space bar, please. Oh no. <laughs> Mom's contact's nice, but this this ain't gonna help. This is gonna be real fucking bad. <laughs> oh my god. Real fucking bad. What a bizarre run. Yep, look at that. Look how much damage we just took. Fantastic. Fantastic. Dogma, you freak! Ow! God damn it. Dude, that laser fucks uh, it just fucks me up. Either way, that was a that was a good run. Unfortunately, no no beast kill with Azazel, but honestly I knew it was gonna be hard anyways. And the moment I took almond milk, it was already kind of not a possibility. And then I took glass cannon, but that heart container item. Going home is amazing. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.